Hey, I'm Tammy Davis, and let me just thank you for subscribing to my newsletter, because had you not, you wouldn't have gotten to the link for butyric acid. And so, I don't know what in you know what intrigued you about clicking on the link, but I'm really happy that you did, which is the reason why you're here. Anyway, as I mentioned in the newsletter, ghee is very high in butyric acid. And it's interesting that when we follow our gut, um, no pun intended here, um, we always are led to the information that we need. And, you know, I've heard for years through my own studies and at education, the, the value to having fats in our diet and, you know, nourishing the liver. And I've always heard a lot. I was always, I've always been very fascinated by Ayurvedic medicine. And so, um, the, the inclusion of ghee into the diet is a very big deal, and it's been used for thousands of years. Um, it's been a, it's a, a staple in their diet. Um, nonetheless, it's, it's highly encouraged to include, and um, yet when I was kind of breaking it down, because if you haven't already figured out, I'm very interested with science, the chemistry of our body, the oils, and food, and so I decided I would kind of look into what is what the heck is ghee? You know, it's it's clarified butter, but really, what does that mean? And this is where I came across butyric acid. Um, that little title got my attention so much so that I started looking into butyric acid and discovered that our own body makes it. Um, and without going into an extraordinary amount of detail. Um, butyric acid is, like I said, is something that we make in the bowels. It's used, um, I'm sorry, it's produced during the fermentation cycle, and it actually includes the use of acetylcholine um, in the biosynthesis of butyric acid. It has an extraordinary value to our system as it is, um, helps with the inflammatory response, which means it's um, directly involved with the immune system. But the other very important piece is that it actually helps to relieve oxidative stress. Um, again, so it's, um, it's a very complex explanation. And so I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible, but just really emphasize the fact that it is an, a very valuable nutrient. And so including ghee in the diet is, is um, very wise. Um, that said, the body can produce it. It's supposed to produce it on its own. And that's the whole purpose of my work is to stimulate the body to do what it's designed to do. And as I mentioned just a few moments ago, it does include the use of acetylcholine or cofactors, um, various, various um, forms of choline are used in the production of butyric acid. And the reason why this is significant is because acetylcholine is the neurotransmitter that um, regulates, it's, I don't want to say if it's regulated, it's part of um, the chemistry of the autonomic nervous system, I will say it that way. And so it is what is stimulates the, basically the stress response. And this is huge because if acetylcholine is firing in the autonomic nervous system and triggering the fight or flight reaction that we get, then what ultimately happens is it's the, the digestive system is bypassed and butyric acid is not produced and we end up with inflammation and it becomes um, very damaging over time. And this is where I get very involved with stress and teaching people about stress. So my request is that you actually let me know how I might be able to assist you, what questions you may have, what health concerns you might be dealing with, that I might be able to begin breaking down for you um, so that you can override the um, digestive issues, the stress response, and so on. So this is the value to butyric acid. And like I said, it's a, a, it's a very um, hyphenated explanation. But I again, it was more along the lines of wanting to emphasize and the importance of at least including ghee in your diet, why it's helpful, and at the same time, helping your body actually stabilize itself so that it can begin producing this on its own. It's going to take steps, and um, it's, it's individual. There's no one-size-fits-all to healthcare. Um, what works for one person doesn't work for another person, so it's not possible for me to make a generalized 
or I'm sorry, a specific, give you specific answers to um, a general topic such as stress or digestion. It really comes down to what's going on with you and um, being able to personalize it at that level. So this is the reason why I don't share um, specific information because it's not possible to do. I would be causing more harm than good, more than likely. So if you have specific questions, you um, feel free to contact me um, through synergessence.com. There's an email there, Tammy at synergessence.com. Um, I have a contact form. And um, I'm happy to, you know, give you some some generalized guidance. But if it's the more specific information that you're seeking, um, there are ways to to gain that um, through working with me. So let me know how I might be able to assist you. And it might be something you figure out on your own. But regardless, I'm always here for you. So thank you so much for watching. And here's to your health. Bye now.